why do we love Mandela? Because he's not like what we don't like about today's politics, right? In today's politics, conflict is more important than cooperation. Attacking people and demeaning them and debasing them and dividing them is more important than treating them with respect and lifting them up. Mandela was in prison or house confinement for 27 years, and yet he always treated people with respect and tried to lift them up and tried to bring them together and succeeded in doing it. Instinctively, I think most Americans who care about their country and its role in the world know that ever since the end of the Cold War, when the bipolar world of the former Soviet Union and the U.S. went away, and we could have fights without blowing each other up to kingdom come. Even with the rise of terror, even with the rise of all this, that there, it's been more profitable at home and around the world for many people to act like our differences are more important than our common humanity. And most people who say, oh, that's wrong. I want people to work together and be reasonable and compromise. They may be, but they don't vote that way very much. Al was so committed to trying to disabuse people of that somehow trying to deal with the very threats of climate change would be bad for the American economy. And both Bill and Al tried during the 90s, despite a big uh, resistance, uh, to make that case. And then uh, in the years after that, there was a brief moment uh, under George W. Bush when we thought we could make progress on climate change. Uh, I traveled around with John McCain, for example, and we went and actually looked at melting glaciers. Uh, we went to Svalbard, the northernmost inhabited place uh, in the world, to you know, talk to their scientists. And we went to Point Barrow in Alaska. And, and, and McCain really tried to put together uh, a group of Republicans to work with Democrats on these issues. But here's the lesson. You know, climate change is one of those issues that a lot of people care about, but it's not their number one issue. It's like gun violence. A lot of people really care about it, wish we would do something about it, but not everybody sees it as their number one issue. So if you have a really determined, well-funded minority view that does nothing but try to prevent you from taking action on something like climate change, it's hard to make it a voting issue. The great American poet Carl Sandburg said, you have to have rich wanting, you have to want. You have to want this thing to work out. That's what I pray will happen for all of you and anybody you can reach. We can't let this country go away. We can't let our divisions eat us alive. We can't trash our democracy and rob our children, our grandchildren, and the world of the chance to do that. We have to want it.